Why my dad's life and business changed the way I think about commercial property. As a commercial investor, many people are scared of the vacancies that come into commercial property. It's a very valid point, but reflecting on my dad's journey made me realize a few things. Yes, you're gonna have periods of vacancy that can go on for a while, but there's two other things that many people don't consider. You'd be surprised at how much longer business owners stay at that one location versus a tenant for a residential property staying in that one location. Yes, you'll have your cases of short term and long term for both, but when I reflect on my dad's journey, he was in one location for over a decade. Then when he changed, he was almost a decade at that place too. So what did that make me realize? It made me realize that you know people build relationships, community, customer base, and so many other things. It's not as transactional as a house. Oh look, I just need a quick upsize, not liking this area, changing. People don't react to it in the same way in the business world as they do in the residential world. And seeing my dad's journey really helped me reflect on that. So whilst yes, you've got long vacancies in commercial, you also have the flip side of annual increases in rent, long-term tenants, long-term relationships, reduced maintenance because a tenant is actually doing all this fix up for you. They want that business to be presentable. As a mechanical engineer, my dad wanted everything clean, the hoist, the, the transmission area, all the parts where the floors would be mopped. You'd be surprised that a mechanic would have, you know, you know, you'd think he'd have all this oil and grease and everything all over the place, but that wasn't it for my dad. He wanted that property to be presentable. Now, when you think of uh, my dad's journey, I picked up a few other things when it came to commercial property investing. Now the fact was that you know, income continued to increase each year and there wasn't as many comparables that you could look at because each business used their place so uniquely. And this helped me see that if you had a business where there was not many unique factors to how you looked at your place or looked after your place, as a landlord that can be quite dangerous because then it's so easy for them to go, well I just want a property that has the same things at a cheaper rate and I can just move in and out. Now at that point things get similar to residential but my dad had set up expensive fit outs, he had a reception corner, he had um, an office for a waiting area. All these things were input by him. The, the commercial property, the industrial property itself was bare. So when you think of the time, the effort, the money he put in to fit it all out, that actually also helps you believe that you know, he'll stay there for longer, which he actually did. So there's a lot of things I took out of my dad's business journey and how I reflected onto commercial property investing today. Looking out for places with great or expensive fit outs. Looking out for places where they have that point of differentiation. They're not just the same four walls and a garage door without any sort of extras to it. And aside from that, I also had faith in business owners, their ability to you know, go through challenges, want to stick out for that long term just as I'd seen my dad do growing up in you know, New Zealand uh, and going to his workshop every day after school. So when you think of all of that, yes, there are the risks of commercial property investing, but from a you know, family where my dad was running a business, it's important to know there are many positives too. And when you think of those negatives, if you weigh it up with the positives, you can see why so many people choose to add commercial property as a foundational strength to the cash flow for their portfolio.